All right, let's get down to business. Once again. Huh. I don't think the sun should be coming up any minutes since I did tap to wake up early the last time. Oh, there goes another donkey. I'm not going to ride it because I don't want to get hurt and it's too dark to see right now. I'll wait till daybreak to do some. I think I know what I can do while I wait. Wait, what? My horse is still alive. I thought he was dead, but he wasn't. He was still alive the whole time. While I wait, I think I'm gonna make a boat so I can show you guys how you can use them to travel across the water quickly and safely. Because if you remember from part two, I said that if you don't have a boat, you'll risk drowning from exhaustion or being attacked by dangerous underwater creatures. Oh, the sun's getting ready to come up. Wait a second. I don't remember the recipe. I need to... I need to go look at it for a second. Okay, Recipedia. Okay, now how do you make a boat? I do remember how to do it, but I just don't remember fully. Let me see. Oh yeah, I only need five planks. Like that. Alright. Well, let's go back and make it. Put the other ones back. I don't need those. There we go. Now to use it, we gotta put it in the water because we can't control it anywhere else but the water. Cause, see, I can put it on the shore and I can still mount it, but look at this. I can't get it off the shore, so I have to make sure I get it in the water first. Okay, now that it's in there, here, let me put it on third person so you can see me in there. Now see how much safer it is to travel across the water while you're using these? Of course, you do have to be careful of the underwater creatures while you're using this as well. Even because most of them can be pretty dangerous, especially the sharks. You got bull sharks, tiger sharks, and great white sharks. Bull sharks are aggressive, but they're not really that strong. They can bring down small animals easily, but... But they have to be as strong as the other sharks. Now, tiger sharks and great white sharks, they have really good senses of smell. And they can bring down almost all land animals really easily because they're very, very strong. Only the whales can survive their ferocious attacks. But of course, you've only got two whales in this game, and that would be um, orcas and beluga whales. Now, orcas are extremely powerful, and they'll attack pretty much everything that moves. Huh, there's a bull shark, I think. I think that might be a tiger shark. I don't... I think that might be a bull shark because it is, it's pretty small for a tiger shark because tiger sharks and great white sharks are really big. Now beluga whales, um, well, here, let me go to this again. If you don't know what every creature is, you can go to the best diary, which has the list of all creatures that will appear in the game. And here's the orca. Yeah, they're extremely dangerous and really strong. They provide plenty of food when hunted. Yeah, whales do provide a lot of food when hunted. And here's the beluga whale. The beluga whale's totally different from the orca because you can see here it says it's a non-aggressive mammal that lives in the deep ocean. I mean, truth is, beluga whales will attack the player, but they won't attack anything else. All right, let's get back to the shore so I can go riding on my horse. 
And I better get to it before the bear tries to do something to it. Stop moving. I can always feed you grass if you're hungry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now let's go along this way some more. Oh, I forgot my workbench. I need that. So that way I can make more crafting stuff if I want to be able to craft in more than four slots. Here, put it over there and then let's move. Go faster. Uh-oh, watch out for that hyena. Or I could just kill it. Yeah. There we go. Grab the experience orbs. <laughs> there go some wolves. Be careful of them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go along this way now. There's a wild boar. Let's get it. Oh, be careful. <laughs> you trying to attack my horse? You'll get it big time for doing that. Oh, get off of me for just a second. Oh, crap. Gotta be careful along the heights. Here, throw that meat away because it's raw and I don't need it right now. Oh, there's my horse. Let's get back on. He stopped, why can't I get on him? Here, put me back on first person for a second. There we go. That's what I'm saying. I can't do it that way, can I? Oh, there's some pumpkins. I want to eat one. Stop. I can't get my horse to stop. He just likes to move too much, and I don't know why I can't get him to stop. Alright. Eat. You have eaten well. We're not getting towards the cold, are we? Because if so, I can always go back along that way towards where my boat was at. Uh-oh. And I'm going in the water. I gotta be careful through this way because there may be some sharks or something around here and they'll get my horse but they won't get me because I'm in harmless mode they won't hit me unless I attack them well, it looks like we're in humidity because my bar is turning a little bit orange oh there's too many heights around here we might have to hmm. Here, I have an idea. Let me break the sand so I can get him up there. Oh, crap. Be careful. Because that would have gotten me hurt. Oh, I think I'm hurting my horse. Come on, we got to get over there before sharks try to get my horse. Because like I said, sharks have really good senses of smell. And they'll home in on their prey from far away. Whoa. Whoa. Don't fall deep in the water. I don't want... I don't want to drown. I think that was... That looked like a barracuda. Yeah, there are barracudas in the water too, but they only live in the warm waters. They don't live out in deep water like most of the other sea creatures do. And they have really painful bites, so you have to... Ooh, that looked like a tiger shark. I don't see a way to get back to the shore. I have a feeling that the sharks are going to get my horse before I can make it over here. Come on, horse, pick up the pace. If the sharks get my horse, I'm going to have to get back to the shore quickly. Oh, wait a minute. 
I won't have nothing to worry about because this is harmless mode. Oh, the bull shark's attacking my horse. Well, I gotta get my saddle back and then I gotta get to the shore. Thank you. I'll have to find another horse. Because I do remember this is harmless mode. In harmless mode, yeah, your stamina won't decrease. Same in creative mode. Because, yeah, I forgot about that. Stamina will only decrease if you're in challenging or cruel mode. So, yeah, I won't have to worry about getting exhausted in the water. So, yeah, I'll be able to get back to the shore. I won't drown. Come on now. Huh, there's a bunch of seagulls. Yeah, you better fly away if you don't want me to attack you. Hmm, I think I better go back to where I came from. Yeah, let's go back towards where I came from. But we gotta make another boat first. Wait, do I have enough planks to continue? Yeah, I do. Let me get up here and make another boat, and then I gotta get back towards where I came from. Before it gets dark. Because if it gets dark, I won't be able to get back in time. It'll be too cold for me to make it. There we go. Get my workbench really quick. And then we'll head back towards where I came from. Alright. Here, I got it. There we go. Now let's go. Place the boat in the water. Place my boat in the water. What are you doing? There we go. Now let's go. Was that a tiger shark down there, or is that a bull shark? It looks bigger, so I think it might be a tiger shark. Hmm, it's starting to get dark. I might have to hurry. And in a few minutes, i got to end my video because I've got to get ready to head out soon. I may have to sleep somewhere different because I'm not going to be able to get back if it's going to get dark because it's getting dark right now. I'll have to sleep somewhere else before I have to go back towards where I came from. Because I don't think I'm going to be quick enough to make it back. Is this rain getting ready to stop? Because it needs to stop because it's getting dark. The temperatures are going to be cooler. Well, wait. This is warm water, so... I won't get cold. I just want to be careful when I go out to deep water if I happen to do that. Of course, I don't even think it's safe to go out in the deep water unless you're in harmless mode or creative mode because of the fact that there's going to be a bunch of dangerous sharks and whales out there. Huh, when's this rain going to stop? Oh yeah, those, their oars right there are saltpeter oars. You can use saltpeter to sprinkle your plants if you happen to farm, instead of sprinkling it with um, fertilizer. But of course, most of the plants you want to grow when farming will require moist soil anyway. When you're trying to grow plants, they are going to take a long time to grow, so you have to be patient. And I'm almost to the shore. Once I get to the shore, I think I'm going to stop until next time. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of the boat and get onto the shore. Well. This is where I'm going to stop the video for now. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, a comment on what you thought, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next part of the walkthrough.